planet, somewhere in the cosmos, we exist in cyberspace. We've been transported to the future. We're dealing with forces beyond our control. You will be terminated. Yo, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have my first ever 10th gen intel build on this channel. Now I know what a few of you are going to say in the comments that Ryzen is better, blah blah blah. I mean please leave those comments for the YouTube algorithm and while you're down there you might as well hit the like button and you might as well subscribe because I have more Ryzen builds on the way. Alright, starting off, all my client wanted was an i7-10700 and I had the freedom to build around the CPU. Oh yeah, and he chose the cheapest case possible. More on that later. Now for the motherboard, we have an MSI Z490 A Pro, a RTX 2070 Super. He got this one used because he's planning on upgrading to the 3000 series later. A 240 gigabyte SSD just for the boot drive, a 8 terabyte hard drive, 16 gigs of Viper RAM by Patriot, a 750 watt power supply, a Hyper 212 EVO and some RGB fans. I only chose these fans because and a basic Corsair case that he chose. Now if your motherboard has these 4 pin supplementary power connectors and you don't plan on doing any crazy overclocking, you don't need to plug in these 4 pin power connectors. The 8 pin is plenty for the CPU. And can we start a petition for Intel to stop including these trash stock coolers that aren't even effective? And in return, dropping the CPU by a few dollars? No? Is it just me? Okay, well the black color is a nice touch. Transported to the future. We're dealing with forces beyond our control. You will be terminated.
Alright, now for all benchmarks, we are doing it in 1080p. Starting off in Unigen Heaven, we scored 3872 with no overclock on the GPU. Cinebench R15 scored 1993. And Cinebench R20 scored 4853. Temperature spiked immediately after starting Prime 95 to 100 degrees Celsius on the high power stress test. But in games such as Warzone, the CPU stays around 67 degrees. Now the only issue I have with cheap cases is if you plan on using a hard disk drive, you can literally hear and feel the head inside of the drive moving when it's searching for data. Not an issue when you have a headset on, but if you're in a quiet room with this PC, it will be super audible. Now cases that are a little bit more money come with rubber grommets on the drive caddy which help lessen the transmission of vibrations from the drive to the case. Take a listen on how obnoxious the sound is. Now if you are going to build a PC, take this into consideration on the case you choose if you plan on using a hard disk drive. But if you have auditory deficits, then by all means use this case if it suits your needs. Other than that, thanks for making it this far in the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one.